We certainly have done a lot of upgrades to the Cube, and it's always been my quest to make it the fastest thing I could. I've got a need for speed, and I've always wondered, how can I keep increasing the horsepower on this thing? Now, as you know, we have a 1.4 gigahertz Sonic Encore ST processor board in it, and it runs natively. It runs very fast, and boy, what a big speed bump this was. It works fantastic. You can game on it really easily if you want to play games, but it does other things very easily. But I want to have even more speed. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this 2.1 gigahertz newer tech board in it. Now this is a single processor. However, it is a dual processor card. So theoretically you could populate the other side and have two processors on it but this is clocked out to 2.1 gigahertz. But the problem that I've had is that, well, to run this card, you have to have a high power VRM board in the cube. The standard one, it'll run for a little while, but if it gets too hot, it's gonna fry that board. So, HEP at 68K Mac form graciously made me a workaround for this. So the nice thing about these is there is a 28 volt bypass which feeds off the power supply of the cube. However, when you ordered these specifically for the cube, the circuitry was quite a bit different on the CPU. So what he did is he left the circuitry the same, didn't change it, but what he did is he made me a 28 volt power supply right here to run this board in my cube. So just unhooking a few things and hooking these two wires up, we will have 28 volts and we won't need to pull that from the main power supply. Pretty neat. And the beauty of this card is, is if I ever do get one of those high power VRM boards, I just basically just remove those two wires right there and change out the VRM board and we're good. And you notice he put a custom heat sink on there for me. And if this looks familiar to you, uh, this is very similar to the one that Sean from Action Retro has. This has the Apollo 7 processor in it, and that's the code name for it, which is one of the first ones to offer free scaling. It was first to introduce an internal thermal diode and also dynamic frequency scaling, which allows this to be clocked at a much higher speed and runs it cooler than its predecessor, the 7447. Now the one that replaced this was the 7448, and that's the Apollo 8, and it's just a bump up from this here. So we're gonna be curious to see what the difference is on Geekbench when we get this put in the cube, and I'm gonna actually compare it to a couple of screenshots from Sean's at Action Retro on his cube. I'm just curious to see what the difference is as far as performance. But before we can put the card in, we have to update the firmware on the cube so that this processor will see the cube and it will allow it to boot up. Now it's been a while since I taped this episode because I was waiting on some software. Sean from Action Retro, he downloaded the links for me and for whatever the reason, I could not get them to open up. I even tried to do the toast like he told me to do. As far as the application, I just could not make it work. So he graciously uh, sent me a CD that's all ready to go. And I do really appreciate Sean doing that. It's really great to have friends on YouTube around the world to help us out with all these older Macs. So he sent me this nice CD and he had it addressed to me there for me and also he burnt the CD for me and uh, his little comment was probably not cursed so let's hope that this CD is not cursed because we, <laughs> we I really want to get this processor up and running so that's what we're gonna do we're going to uh, try to update the firmware on this cube now I do have to do a few things to the SSD drive in there and that way we should be able to install the software on this cube properly. 
but I do appreciate Sean sending me this. Now, he was in the middle of a move, and it was a little delayed getting to me, but believe me, it was worth the wait. And again, thank you very much, Sean. I really appreciate it. It's nice to have friends like you out there on YouTube. So, we're going to try to uh, update the firmware on this guy so we can put that new uh, CPU in there. But because of other things that I have going on, this is going to be a multi-part video. So part two will be coming soon. So please like and subscribe to this channel. Please click that notification bell. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, fantastic. If you don't, that's fine too. I appreciate your comments. We're also on MeWe and Twitter. I really hang out a lot on Twitter. And also we're streaming on our other couple platforms, Rumble and Odyssey. So until we continue with this, there will be another video coming really, really soon within the next few days or week. And you guys have a great rest of your week. Bye-bye.